Academy Awards just wrapped up here on WJCL ABC and after the tragedy on the trestle killed film crew member Sarah Jones last week, all eyes were on the memorial segment. Good evening, I'm Rob Macko. Thanks for joining us for WJCL News. Now, Jones' name did not make the in memoriam segment, but she was recognized after Bette Midler sang The Wind Beneath My Wings. There was a banner across the lower part of the screen with her name and where viewers could go to learn more information about her. Now, since her passing, supporters have been trying to keep Jones' memory alive. They submitted their petition today. They tried to get her name on the memorial segment for the Oscars. It had nearly 61,000 signatures. Well, some in Savannah gathered this evening to watch the Oscars, not to just to see who won the awards, but to show support for Sarah Jones. WJ Sales' Brandon Lavornia was at B&D Burgers tonight for the watch party, and he joins us now live with more. Brandon? Well, Rob, there were many in attendance tonight that didn't know Sarah Jones. However, they said they felt compelled to pay tribute to her, and there were some members that actually knew some of the film crew on that very same set that day. This tribute means a lot to them. This year's Oscars isn't about the awards for Hannah Bryan. The aspiring actress says last week's train accident is changing everything. I have had a heavy feeling in my chest um, ever since I'm hearing about it. She didn't personally know Sarah Jones, the crew member killed during filming. However, she knew others on set of the shoot, which is why she's choosing to watch the Oscars at B&D Burgers Oscar Watch Party. But particularly this group, uh, there are several people on that shoot that I know personally that I call close friends. Judith Moore, part of Savannah Women in Film and Television Group, hosting the event, says the group hopes to raise awareness. She was a young woman with her whole life ahead of her, devoted to filmmaking. She was very good at her job or she would not have been doing it. And now she's no longer with us. The public outcry attracted Claire Weinstein to the special watch party. She didn't know Sarah Jones, but admires what others have told her. What people have told me about her, I'll remember that she was very kind, very fun, very loving. Both Brian and Moore hope the Oscars pay tribute to Jones and that filming becomes safer in the future. We have lost something. We've lost something important and we need to spend all of our energies trying to get that back. And they should be. Um, so hopefully after this, this is going to be a lot more awareness and you know, a lot more people will be safe on sets from now on. And just like at the Oscars, uh, you saw a lot of people wearing black ribbons. They were doing the same thing at B&D Burgers this, is, this evening, including our own Jennifer Andrews. And, you know, that just wrapped up, Rob, over at B&D Burgers. So, I mean, continue wearing those. Uh, Slates for Sarah is still going very strong. A lot of support still going on, even though the awards are over. And I know some people in the local film community happy that they at least did Very something. happy. Everyone was hopeful that would happen. Yeah. It was in its own separate little segment, as people just saw. Uh, but they still got her to the Oscars. All right. Thanks, Brandon.